Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Judges of Lomba Prelity Belia 2020 Let me introduce ourselves My name is Nadia Aura Maharani and my partner Fikri Islavid We are from State Senior High School Wan Kudus In this occasion, we would like to present the result of our study entitled Measuring Depression Level of Central Java Adolescents During COVID-19 Pandemic The framework of our presentation is First, introduction Second, research methodology Third, result and analysis Fourth, conclusion Five, future work And the last is references First is the introduction The common psychological threat to children and adults reported are depression, anxiety, and psychological trauma. One of the reasons children and adults experiencing depression and anxiety is due to school closure. Majority studies on the impact of COVID-19 toward children and adults and mental health were conducted out of Indonesia, such as China, America, South America, and Europe. Courtney et al. Uh, 2020, Demiranda et al. 2020, Duan et al. 2020, Goldberstein et al. 2020. In Indonesia, study has actually been carried out by using college students as respondent, and the news usually combines the mental condition of children and adults with adult and the elderly without discrete data explanation. Hasana et al. 2020. Based on those facts, this study was designed as a cross-sectional online questionnaire survey with a single objective to measure the depression level of adults in Central Java during COVID-19 pandemic. Next, research methodology. The participants of our study were adults ranging from grade seven of junior high to grade twelve of senior high level, aged from eleven to nineteen years old. in six residences of Central Java. The number of Central Java High School students was around 1,903,231. To achieve the representativeness of the population, the minimum number of the sample was calculated using Slovene formula, and it was found 400 within a margin of error 0.05. All the closing of data collection There were 474 respondents from six residencies. The Children's Depression Inventory or CDI was used as the instrument to measure adolescent depression level. In addition to CDI, we also provided sociodemographic characteristic items to be filled by the respondent. The item included questions regarding sex, age, place of residence, and educational level. The statements of CDI and socio-demographic characteristic of the respondent were set in Google form and distributed to the targeted participants by employing cluster random sampling. Before CDI was distributed, it was checked its content validity by a professional validator that is a psychology lecturer. Because our respondent were high school student, we translate English version CDI into Bahasa Indonesia. We got help from a language specialist to check the quality of the translation. After checking the validity of the instrument, we conducted a tryout to examine its reliability. The instrument was tried on 170 students having similar characteristics to the targeted re- respondent. The research of reliability check was presented in the table. All the 170 respondents filled in the questionnaire and it was 100% valid. Then, the instrument's reliability was checked its coefficient. We use corn by alpha formula to check the e- <coughs> We use corn by alpha formula to check the efficient. All the 27 items of the instrument had coefficient of corn by alpha of 0.847, meaning that the instrument is reliable or consistent to be used to measure a thousand. The result of descriptive statistical analysis of our study are presented in two sections. The first section is about the distribution of respondent based on their socio-demographic characteristic, and the second is the description of Central Java adolescents' depression level during COVID-19 pandemic. Based on the table, 
It can be seen that the largest number of respondents is at 16 years old, that is 124 respondents or 26.2% of total respondent. While the least number of respondent was those aged 11 years old, which only 5 or 1.1% of total respondent. The distribution of respondent based on their age has the mean of 15.26 with standard deviation 1.825. This is the result of respondent distribution based on their gender. From the table, we see that female students participated more than male students. That is 323 or 68.1% compared to 151 or 31.9%. Next is the distribution of respondent based on school grade. From the table, we see that grade 12 participated dominantly than the other grade as many as 133 students or 28.1%. And grade 9 is the least respondent to participate as many as 39 respondent or 7.8%. The mean of respondents was at grade 10 with standard deviation 1.744. And this is the result of respondents distribution based on residency. The table shows that there are respondents from six residents, Banyumas, Kedu, Pati, Pekalongan, Semarang, and Surakarta. The largest number of respondents came from Semarang residents, as many as 150 or 31.6%, and the least number of respondents came from Kedu residents, as many as 16 respondents or 3.4%. And the last is the distribution of respondent based on metropolitan area and interior, which is illustrated in the table. We can see from the table that 328 or 69.2% respondents stayed out of the city center, while 146 or 30.8% respondents stayed close to the city center. After we presented the socio-demographic characteristic of the respondent, now, we come to the core of our study that is adolescence depression level. From 474 respondents, the minimum CDI score was 2 and the maximum score was 52 points. The mean of depression score was 15.0084. To find out the CDI description on adolescence in the study, first hypothetical categorization was determined using the following formula. Maximum score equal to total items times maximum score equal to 27 times 2 equal to 54. Minimum score equal to total items times minimum score equal to 27 times 0 equal to 0. Range equal to maximum score minus minimum score equal to 54 minus 0 equal to 54. Hypothetic mean equal to maximum score minus minimum score divided by 2 equal to 27. Hypothetic standard deviation equal to range divided by 6 equal to 9. Based on the calculation, it was found that the depression level is categories into 3, that is low, mid, and high. The depression level is considered as low when the score less than 18. The depression level is considered as mid when the score is started from 18 up to 36. And the last, the depression level considered as high when the score is more than 36. The respondents who were classified to have low depression level were 310 respondents or 65.4%. Respondents with mid depression level with 158 adolescents or 33.3%, and those who were categorized to have high depression level was only 1.3% of the respondents or 6 adolescents. This finding may suggest that adolescents in Central Java indeed experience depression as Dr. Lahargo Kembar and SPKJ claimed, but the level of depression is low. It happened not only to high school students, but also to college students. So college students were more depressed than high school students, or 21.1% compared to 65.4%. 
It also shows that Central Java adolescents face the COVID-19 in a more relaxed way than their peer adolescents in other parts of the world. Another possible explanation would be due to the time of measuring the depression level. The studies in China and other parts of the world was conducted not far from the outbreak, while this current study particularly was done six months after the school closure. That was the result of our analysis, and finally, this is the conclusion. All respondents were categorized as depressed, but the dominant one is in low level of depression. More than half of the respondents, or 65.4%, were in the states of low depression, and only fewest of them was highly depressed, or 1.3%. Next is the future work. The incoming study may consider having a more ideal representation of adolescents from the residences in Central Java and designed in a longitudinal study. The future work may also include other areas in Indonesia, especially those noticed as the red zone of the pandemic. This current study result and other future results may be used as foundation to determine ways to cope with adolescents during pandemic or in other disaster time.